Hi viewers, in this video I am going to show you how I have automated OS installation using Cobbler and also the post installation tasks using Puppet. I am going to show you how it works in this video. In this setup, I have created three virtual machines. The first virtual machine is Sent OS, which acts as Cobbler and Puppet server. Cobbler is an open source tool which is used to automate OS installation. Puppet is also an open source tool which is used to create and manage client configuration files from a central server. The other two virtual machines are named as Apple and Orange, which are MTVMs. It is in this virtual machine I am going to show you how the OS installation task is performed automatically. Let us log in to the Cobbler server. Yes, we are in. I have created a file named setup. It is basically in this file we are going to fill the fields to perform client installation let us let me open the file using vi editor yeah, this is the file so in this file we have to fill in the mandatory fields which is the host name I have given the host name as apple The OS field is to select the operating system. So I have sent OS 6.6 .6 and Fedora 20 available on this machine. So let me select the OS sent OS 6.6 and the profile is nothing but the ISO image which is also going to be sent OS 6.6. .6. The device is the network device. For CentOS ETH0 is the network device. I have given it. Okay. The MAC address is the hardware address of the network adapter. Let me go to the host Apple. Click on the network adapter. Here I have to click on advanced tab. Generate the MAC address. Copy the MAC address. Okay. Okay, so I have to give the MAC address here. So I have given the MAC address, the IP address of the host, it is on 92.168.86.15. Next, the net mask of the network. dot zero and the gateway is going to one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot eighty six dot one and the DNS the DNS is nothing but the domain name and this let us give the domain name as apple dot example dot com that's it. I have filled the mandatory fields. The rest of the lines in this file is the script which is going to automate the task. Now I am going to save the file. Right quit close. So I am going to execute this file now. The file has been executed. My script is working. Yeah, task is complete. Now let us go to the virtual machine. Just power on the server. Yeah, and see the installation has started. We don't want to do any kind of a manual interruption over here. It will fix the image from the cobbler server and do the installation. Meanwhile, let us go to the setup file again and uh, give the inputs for the second server orange 
clear I'm going to open the file again follow the same steps so for this I'm going to install the Fedora operating system whose name is orange where is going to be Fedora 20 I'm just selecting it copy paste and the profile is the ISO image for the Fedora is Fedora i36 and the device name for Fedora operating system is P3P1 on the MAC address of the second machine let's go go to the select orange the network adapter go to the advanced tab generate copy click ok ok come to the server paste it next IP address let us give the IP address as 192.168.86.1 dot 16 the net mask for this network is 255.255.255.0 and gateway is going to be the same 192.168.86.1 and the domain name is going to orange.example.com Yes, I have completed filling the fields just quit the file save it execute the file my script is working yeah the task is complete now go to the virtual machine put on the VM let us wait and see whether the installation is starting. Yeah, it has taken the image. Now let us go to the first VM. I'll look at her. The installation is in progress it will basically takes 15 minutes to complete the OS installation so in this setup as I said before Puppet will perform the post installation client configuration steps automatically here in this exercise Puppet will create user accounts in the client servers automatically also it configures the hostname resolution configuration file also it automatically configures the NTP clients so I will show that after this installation is complete normally we used to do the post installation tasks manually after the OS installation is over so in this setup I am just showing you how I have automated both the OS installation and as well as the post installation tasks uh, let us wait until the OS installation is complete and after that I will log into the server and as I said before, I will show you how the users are created automatically after the installation, how the hostname resolution file is configured from Puppet. So let us wait till this is over. Progress. The post installation has completed. The server is getting rebooted after installation so it is about to complete so let us wait for another few more minutes okay the installation is complete now so you can see the users which are already created as a part of post installation let me log into the server and show you the rest of the post installation tasks uh, how it has been configured uh, through Puppet the IP address is 192.168.86.15 this is the IP address which we gave to the host Apple I am logging in as root well 
as I explained before uh, now the OS is installed in the VM let us see whether Puppet has done the post installation tasks I am opening the user file as you can see the users Puppet, Raju, Chutki these are the users which are created as a part of post installation through Puppet let us see the NTP configuration file cat etc ntp dot conf yeah the configuration is perfect let us see the hostname configuration yeah hostname configuration is also perfect this is what uh, the sample hostname configuration file which I have configured in the puppet server so everything is perfectly configured in the client server after installation so now the best part in this is the configuration file on this client servers are centrally managed by the puppet server so even if we corrupt or accidentally delete any of this configuration file it will automatically recreate within certain period of time in this I have configured uh, for uh, one minute so in, uh, in the interval of one minute it will check for the configuration file and if there is any modification it will get updated automatically from the puppet server I will show you how it happens let us see see here we have the user beam the beam user is configured or created from the puppet server say for instance I am deleting this user user del beam yeah now let, let us see whether it has been deleted yeah as I said even if we delete the user it will recreate automatically this is what the puppet does from the central server I will show you by deleting the configuration file this is the hostname hostname configuration file which is configured through puppet I am deleting this file rm hyphen r of slash etc host so it got deleted cat etc host no such file or directory now let us wait for a period of time the puppet will looks for this file from the central server if this file is deleted or modified it will automatically recreate this file so the benefit of this is if we manage a setup of 1000 or 2000 servers we need not to do any configuration manually on all client servers one central server that is I mean the puppet server is enough to manage this configuration file on all the client servers in the environment let us look again for the file cat etc host so it is not yet created let us write so let us wait for a minute I am trying again so basically there is an interval in which the puppet server pulls the client mission it is basically uh, we can modify accordingly so if we have a environment which contains 1000 or 2000 server we can do this configuration at the interval of each every 30 minutes the puppet server will pulse the client servers and checks for its configuration file so I think we have crossed more than a minute so we need to wait until the puppet is creating the file I 
let us see the function of the puppet server yeah puppet is running So the default configuration for the puppet is 30 minutes for this setup so we need to wait for 30 minutes to get the file regenerated again. Yeah, it is now 30 minutes. I am just looking for the etc host file. Yeah, it is recreated again. So this is how the puppet works from the central server to its client. OS installation that I have made as simple as it can work, how I have shown here. So it is just a matter of us to install multiple servers in a single shot. Thanks for watching my video.